come back once again to a formal solution. Earlier on, we talked about indeterminate forms of limits where we have 0 over 0 and we try to use algebraic simplification to reduce the expression to a simpler form then we can now use our direct substitution to obtain the limits we want to see limits at infinity in today's tutorial so actually infinity is not a number but it only talks about numbers growing larger and larger as it moves to the positive direction or negative direction so you can have a number growing in terms of positive bigger 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 or growing negatively bigger and bigger and bigger so that's what infinity talks about so let's find out what happens when limits are placed at infinity to limit as infinity okay assuming we have the function f of x which is equal to 2x plus 1 and we have to find the limit of 2x plus 1 as x approaches negative infinity this is the symbol for infinity so plus or minus you show that it is positive or negative infinity so that's just by the way so now let's find the limit of this function 2x plus 1 as x approaches negative infinity that means as x is growing larger and larger and larger but in the negative direction okay so like we used to do for direct substitution this equation or this expression is in a simpler form which we can find its limits without getting an indeterminate form but since we said infinity is not a number it's only an idea of numbers growing larger and larger so when we substitute negative infinity with x two times a number that is very 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 large and negative the product will still be a very large negative fourth number and when we add one to a very large negative number we still get a large negative number okay so when we are trying to find the limit of 2x plus 1 as x approaches negative infinity you get a number that is very big but also a negative number so we said the limit of 2x plus 1 as x approaches negative infinity is still negative infinity and also when we are taking the limit of that same expression as 2x plus 1 but here x is approaching positive infinity what will be our limit so using direct substitution we are going to say substitute x with positive infinity positive infinity only means a number that is increasing higher and higher and higher bigger and bigger and bigger but in the positive direction so when you multiply 2 by any large positive number the answer you get is still a large positive number when you add a large positive number to 1 you still get a larger what positive number so 2x plus 1 at the limit of x approaches positive infinity gives us a positive infinity as uh, limit even though negative infinity and positive infinity are not actually numbers but they tell us that when we place any 
big negative number here, the answer we get will still be a big negative number. When you place a big positive number here, the answer we will get will also be what? A very big positive number. So that's what the idea of limits at infinity tells us. So we can generalize that when we have, let's say, a polynomial function, okay, and we want to find the limit of that polynomial function as the x in that polynomial function is getting to infinity, that is both positive or negative infinity we can say that it will be the limit of the polynomial such a way that we have a1 x to the power n plus a2 x to the power n minus 1 plus we keep increasing or decreasing the power till we get let's say a n let's say a constant 10 so that's polynomials and as the s approaches infinity the answer will always be at infinity so when it's a negative infinity we get negative infinity positive infinity we also get a positive infinity so that's general idea of limits going towards infinity so let's take an example here and find out what the limit will be at infinity this is a kind of piecewise defined function. So let's say we have a the limit of the function f of x such that x approaches positive and negative infinity and f of x itself is given by the piecewise defined function one if x is actually greater or equal to zero and zero if x is less than 0 so how do we solve this this simply means the limit of f of x as x approaches positive and negative infinity so probably we just say approaching infinity but f of x has been given as 1 if x is greater or equal to 0 or also 0 if x is less than 0 and we know that when we say x is greater or equal to 0 it means from 0 to what? positive infinity and when we say x is less than 0 it means 0 down to what? negative infinity so our solution for this problem is the when we take the limit of f of x as x is approaching positive infinity that will be the limit of 1 as x is approaching positive infinity because approaching positive infinity means x should be greater or equal to 0 so when it's greater or equal to zero, our function or expression is one. And that's it. And we said this one is a constant. And from the rules, 
we find or we talk about to be using when computing limits. We said the limit of a constant okay, is always equal to the constant because there is no expression of x here. So the limit as x approaches infinity here for 1 is still what? 1. And also taking the limit as x approaches negative infinity will be the limit of 0 as x approaches negative infinity. Why? Because when we say something is approaching negative infinity, it means it's less than 0. So from below 0 going down to negative, we say it's all negative infinity. And also 0 is a constant. There is no expression of x here, so the limit of 0 as x approaches to negative infinity is still 0. So we can find out that the right hand side limit and the left hand side limit are not what the same. So that's how we find the limit for a piecewise defined function. Okay, so we started with a polynomial finding infinity at positively movement and all the negative movement that's d down to the negative numbers and d up into the positive numbers and we thought that when we have negative infinity of a polynomial we always get negative infinity positive infinity you get for positive infinity so this tells us that with any polynomial when the limit is going to positive infinity that means the function will be growing larger and larger and larger and larger positively when we are moving to negative infinity too the function will be growing larger and larger and larger but in the negative direction and here to see how to find the limits of a piecewise defined function in that manner